Hey, welcome to another PLR Q&A implementation session here. This is actually number three of this open series we've been doing. This is uh, Justin Popovich from Tools Motivation. And with me today, like we've done a number of times, our guest trainer, Chad Fullerton. Chad, say hello. Hello. Thanks for having me on, Justin. Not a problem. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we've got, uh, we actually got a good mix of people on the, uh, the live session here today. Obviously, it's being recorded as well. So if you're watching on the recording, thank you for tuning in. And you can always, whether you're here live or you're watching the recording, you can always send questions into the help desk at Tools for Motivation. Uh, we've always got people keeping an eye and we log all of the questions. So we try to touch on them in these kind of sessions, or if we don't answer them on a session like this, we'll answer them directly or create a video or some kind of combination to get you the answer. Uh, that's really our, our main goal at Tools for Motivation beyond making good content for you is actually helping you implement it because you could download as many products as you want from our catalog if you don't have a way of getting this stuff up and running and useful for your business. It doesn't serve you much good. So the, the whole point of today and any of the sessions that we do like this is to get some discussions going on uh, any questions that we've been seeing, share some ideas with you that you may not have considered before. I know there's a few people here that are on the live call um, that it's their first webinar with us. So even though we do these a lot, uh, we do have new people coming in all the time. So we may cover some questions or topics that have been done in the past. So uh, bear with us if that happens, but by all means, uh, go ahead and ask us any new questions that you have as well. Chad, I think what we'll do here is I've got three questions that were set in, sent in in advance. So let's go through those. Sounds good. And then uh, I know you have a, a little, a couple of demos, at least one we, we're going to have time to get to that uh, I think uh, Tools for Motivation subscribers will be super interested in seeing. I know you convinced me to buy this piece of software <laughs> and I'm glad I did because I got a great deal and I just haven't had a chance to dive in and use it yet. So I thought maybe a demo would help me, but also at the same time, get us discussing some maybe potential uses for uh, PLR customers. Cool. So yeah, we'll do that. So let's start with this first one. Um, and I thought this was kind of unique, but I know this has happened. This has come up a number of times. So let's touch on it. And this is from Nancy saying she's a fan of our PLR and um, my daughter does computer work for me. Can I put her onto my account so she can access my, uh, my details basically or products uh, and forward to her so she can uh, create some materials that right now she can't open or maybe you can explain on your call how to open your materials once I save them. Basically what she's saying is uh, can more than one person access my account and great question and this is actually this will be useful for everybody listening from two fronts. One on if this if this comes up in your business because many of you that I've talked to, you're not the only one. You either have an assistant or you have multiple people working for you or a business partner like I do, and multiple people need to access your account, so you need to know how to do that. But also, when you start running your own programs, you'll get this question a lot. And the general answer is that uh, each company gets uh, basically global access. So Nancy, if your daughter is an employee of your company and you're both doing work for the same business, and that business has made a purchase with Tools for Motivation, then by all means, you can share that login information with those members of your company. That's not a problem at all. The difference here is, let's say, for example, in Nancy's case, it's her daughter. If her daughter starts her own business doing something similar, or even different from Nancy, and is going to be using the PLR for different purposes or for publishing content under the umbrella of a different business. In that case, Nancy, Nancy's daughter's company would also need to purchase a license to tools for motivation content. Now that could be the membership that we're running, could be any individual products, uh, could be some kind of combination there within. And I can pretty much say that, don't quote me on this, you'd wanna ask each vendor, but I'm pretty sure that most other uh, PLR vendors would have roughly the same usage rights. Chad, I'm curious in your business, you offer a lot of different training courses and stuff like that. Do you offer similar access for companies that have multiple staff? You might be on mute there. Uh, yeah, I usually have like a, a team license where you can have more than one person on uh, yeah. uh, having access, but yeah. Okay, cool. So anyway, it's an easy question, but it was, it, it was one that does come up from time to time at the help desk. So I thought I'd mention that if it does apply to you, um, by all means, you can share it with members of your company and that is not an issue. Yeah, just uh, one thing to add to that is that if you do upload to a cloud service like Google Drive or something like that, then you'd easily be able to share that folder with your, uh, with your family member or coworker and then they can access the 
files there and also collaborate on if it's in a Google Doc, right? If they convert the word to Google Doc. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, in terms of the collaboration, because at our company, you probably wouldn't have an access uh, or have an issue with a couple of different IP addresses or a couple of different computers logging in. I can't remember our exact security settings, but at a certain point, it, you, it may cut you off. And other sites might be less uh, liberal that way in, in, the, in the sense that if you're logging in from more than one IP, they might lock you out entirely. So in that case, uh, Chad's suggestion is even more useful because... Uh, what Nancy could do here is, let's say you, Nancy owns three of our packages. You can go in and download all three zip files to your local hard drive and then drop those into, like Chad was saying, like a Google share or Dropbox and then make that shareable with the members of your team. And then you're not relying on my system or whoever you're accessing uh, to distribute the same files to other members of your business, right? So mm -hmm. this way you could be the single point of contact, da uh, download the material that you want and then use your own sharing facilities to get it, get it to your staff members. Um, Chad, I, I, I don't have the questions. There's a Q and a section as well as a chat coming up here. So maybe if you sure, keep an eye on that for me, I don't have either open because I have to, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, if you guys, uh, I'll keep an eye on both. Yeah. We'll definitely hit on those. So I just wanted to touch on that. That's a pretty quick one, but it was a good question because we've definitely seen it. So, uh, that brings us to the next one here from Steven. And another really common question, he says, I, understanding, I understand branding your pages and rewriting some of the copy, but how do you set it up or a link to it to send it out to your client? So if I understand this correctly, Stephen's basically saying, I want to take uh, some of your articles or an ebook or a report or whatever that's been distributed to me in PLR format. I want to make some changes to it, but then distribute a read-only ver version to my clients and in some cases, if it's client work, that document can do some marketing for you. So for example, I could create a short report on you know, the five, five uh, fastest ways to get a return on your investment when using PLR. And I could save that as a PDF, mail it out to my list, and then inside of that PDF, I could have links uh, that get people to either maybe visit one of my sales pages or a lead capture page if it's going to people that are not on my list. How do you do that? So. The easiest way to do it is to just save a PDF and then any of the hyperlinks that you build inside of the PDF, make those clickable. Now, I can't remember if Word actually allows you to do it, but an easy way to do that would actually be in Canva. So I thought I'd show you this really quickly. If you go to uh, Canva here, you can do a presentation. And uh, now if, if you don't have an, a, a license or sorry, a uh, that's the word I'm looking for, an account with Canva. Uh, you can sign up very quickly. It actually automatically logs to your Facebook account here as well. And they have the ability for you to create all different types of output. So you could do quick posts for Facebook. You can do presentations. I like the presentation templates because you can save them as PDFs. Uh, I mean, before I go into that, what else is there here? Chad, you use this probably more than I do. Oh, here we go, posters. Yeah, lots of great graphic Instagram templates. posts. I think you you did uh, a demo for us on the past. I think one with an infographic, and there was one other one you did too. It was pretty cool. You can do a full ebook too. You can actually build out pages of an ebook and design right. layouts and stuff like that. And a lot of this is all all of this is available for free with the free account. Uh, really, where you, where they get you to pay is if you're using premium stock photos and things like that that are built into their system. But for the most part, you don't have to use those. So you can just use your own graphics or use something from Unsplash, which we've done training on in the past. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. And yeah, and just use it as a great design tool. So as an example, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use Canva and you're working on a Mac or a PC, I'm on a Mac. So this is an app called Pages, which is just word processing, very similar to Microsoft Word. And I could start typing a report, right? This is a report. And then maybe inside of this report, maybe this is PLR, right? Maybe it's a 1500 word report and certain points inside of this little mini report, I want to add a promo for my coaching business to get people to sign up for my upcoming coaching or whatever. I could link to my site here and I could add this as a hyperlink, right? Uh, insert link to a web page. And then when I have that, it just automatically, oops, it, whatever, I'm not going to go through it, but it actually makes that clickable. When I export this as a PDF and I send it to you either via email or share it to you, whatever, when you open the PDF and click on that, it would actually load the web page that I've embedded inside of this document. I know you can do that in Word. I, do, I don't remember if it actually preserves 
The I link, think it does. Yeah. When you save it as a PDF. Okay. If it, if it does great. I, I remember in the past it didn't, it was like either a limitation or I don't know what it was. Um, those would be the easiest ways of doing it because you're getting the PDF or sorry, the, uh, the PLR report already in Microsoft word and in pages. So all you would need to do is find locations inside of the document to put your call to action. It may be something like, um, uh, join my coaching program for, for July. Right. And then you, hyperlink that to the signup page for your coaching. If this report is a giant write-up on uh, self-confidence and you do self-confidence coaching, then that would be a great call to action. Now that's the, the most basic form of doing it. What I was getting to with here in Canva is that this is a free tool that we've been recommending more and more because it gives you stuff like presentations or like Chad was saying, eBooks. So you could even take a basic presentation template here. I'm just gonna find one on the fly. Here's a coaching one. And uh, you could just take some content right out of a, what, one of their templates here. So let's actually, I, I put up, uh, I pulled up a book here earlier. Where was it? Here. This was a book on uh, upheaval. And actually, that's the uh, question that somebody's asking us in the third question as well. This is one of our recent products. Upheaval is all about uh, dealing with unexpected challenges in your life. Okay. So let's say we were talking about the emotional effects of upheaval we could, I don't know if it's gonna let me copy that or not. So we could take a part of this PLR. I apologize if you guys are hearing weird noise in the background. Somebody's doing like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's extremely loud. Um, and let's say we grab this guy here. This looks pretty cool, right? With Canva, it gives you really nice layouts. So you could create uh, a really nice presentation using these Canva slides and save one or more of the slides as a mini PDF that you send out doing exactly this, right? What we're, we're asking in this question here with regards to saying out to your clients. So uh, what I could do is uh, take this PLR and that needs to be centered. And all I'm doing is reforming it or reformatting it from this basic text format that it comes in, in PLR. I haven't actually read the content here, which you would do, but it's very easy to go from this super basic PLR ebook, it's good content, but it just looks basic, right? It's just pure text. And if I wanna make it look nicer, here it is now in a nice layout. And I could do this several times throughout the course of the ebook. And then I may wanna add something like a call to action here. So I could add a little heading. Let's see if it lets me move it up here. It does, let's make it a bit smaller as well. And we can say, uh, check out my coaching program. We can highlight that and then link that to wherever, right? Coach, let's just add it. Let's link it to our contact page here. On tools for motivation. I might change it to blue so people know that it's actually a link. It's kind of, people are trained to see that. I may mess around with the settings later. I might move that somewhere else. But then all you would need to do is, uh, what slide are we on here? We could just simply save this. Uh, as a PDF. Download this as a PDF right here. We'll just save that to my desktop. Let's have a quick look. Is this coming through okay, Chad? Yeah. Yeah. Looking so, good. and there you go. I mean, this is not, probably not where I'd put this, but that that's all it is, right? You you put as much or as little you want into this presentation. If I use multiple slides or multiple pages, then I would have to just copy and paste more and more of the PLR content, making any changes, maybe adding my own lessons or tips inside of it so that it's completely unique. And then maybe I put a, a call to action for my coaching at the bottom uh, of each page, or maybe at the beginning of the presentation, at the end of the presentation, maybe I have a little photo of myself. If you're doing coaching and it's you personally coaching, I would definitely recommend adding a picture of you as well because it's personal branding. And then right from this PDF, they can click and open up a link to whatever you're linking to. So that, that's really all it takes. It's just a matter of what do you want to do with the PLR, right? We started with, we started with this ebook that looks like so, which is good, but if you really want to brand it to yourself and to your business and to actually have it, uh, getting people to click through and maybe take some action on your business, then you are going to want, want to add maybe a footer here with a link or do something like I did here with Canva. So hopefully that kind of touches on what you were asking here, Stephen. 
Uh, I would stick with sending people PDFs just because they're a universal file format that are the easiest to open. Uh, alternately to that, you might want to do a web page. I wouldn't, I guess you could send Word docs, but again, you're getting into file formats at that point that not everybody may be able to open. Uh, Word's pretty universal again, but I stick to PDF. So hopefully that makes sense. Do you want to add anything there, Chad? Yeah, that's the best way to do it is just PDF. It's universal. Everyone can open it. And yeah, there's so many different tools. I mean, Chad mentioned a couple as well. Canva, I like just because there's so many different templates there that you can make these reports that you send out to clients um, look way nicer than you could. I think even with the built-in Word templates, it's just, there's just a lot more variety. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing to consider is if you are doing client work, then you might want to use Canva and create sort of a template in there that all of your documents follow so that people see this sort of standard font and color for your particular business. And then you can save that template in Can Canva and use it over and over again for different reports that you send out. Okay. Uh, so hopefully that answers Stephen's question. And then here's another one for Michael that I thought was really good. And it kind of extends on something we've talked about in the past, which is five day challenge or five day e-course. And he'd say, he says, I'd love to see an example of how I could build a five day challenge from your upheaval book. So the upheaval book is the one I already had open and it's, I'll show you it here. This is a recent product. We actually have, no, if you are not a member at Tools Motivation, then you wouldn't even have seen this yet unless you were browsing our store. We have, we typically, what we do at Tools Motivation is we have a monthly subscriber base and, and these are the customers who pay us a monthly or yearly fee and they get all of the PLR that we create as soon as that's done. Basically, as soon as we finish publishing it, it gets posted in the members area, they can download it right away. Um, then what we do is usually several months later, we pick and choose certain products from our catalog, not all of them, uh, to feature on a launch to the general list and to our affiliates as well. So if you don't want to buy our monthly membership, you don't need that much PLR or you're just not in your budget or whatever, then you can buy products uh, one off. Um, then we will launch that out uh, usually at a lower price for a few days before it goes to full price. So upheaval is something that we just haven't featured yet. So you probably haven't seen it at the time of this recording anyways. At some point in the next few months, we will be. So I'll just quickly show it to you here just so you are not uh, totally in the dark as to what's included in a product like this. So it was released a couple of weeks ago, again, with regards to the timing of this um, Q&A. And it's a pretty standard full product packaging when you look at Tools for Motivation. But again, we've got quite a few new people coming in all the time. So I just want to quickly go through what's included in this product. So um, again, this is the topic. It's a five-step system dealing with disruptions, uh, disruptions in your life beyond your control. Really common self-help, personal growth type of topic. Uh, people need to be able to adapt. Um, so this, we thought this was very timely, especially with uh, everything going on in the world right now. Not to mention it was, these types of topics have been requested a lot. So a lot of our launches, if you see them coming out, were driven by questions or requests from our existing customers. So what you'll see in a product like this is four sections, premium content. Anything in here is stuff designed for you to sell. You could sell it straight up as an ebook, or you could sell it bundled with other stuff as a larger course, as an example. So we, we see people taking our ebooks and blending them with ebooks from other vendors to create full blown courses. Um, so you can see it here. It's got a book. We've got the graphics. We have a, a visually enhanced book. If you want one with images in it, we do both. Um, there's also a workbook that helps people take action on what's being taught in the theory section of the ebook. And then there's an audio recording of all that as well, full audiobook. So all of that is the premium content in here. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's lead generation content to help you build your list. There's branding content for marketing on the web and getting people to click through to your website. And then there's social media content, which is mostly graphics and image driven. Again, with the idea of sharing stuff on social so people can begin thinking about whatever topics at hand, in this case, upheaval, and then you can include links back to your website where you can sell them stuff, which is again, this top section here, premium content. So this is the ebook that uh, I think it was our friend uh, Michael was asking about. And this is what that ebook looks like. Okay, so um, notice it's a five step system to deal with disruptions that are beyond your control. And he's asking how to turn it into a five day challenge or a five day, we call them often five day mini courses. They're kind of one and the same. The, the idea being you publish 
uh, content for five straight days to get your to get people to join your list and then engage with you for five days in a row. The idea behind it is that when you're list building, it's an excellent way of engaging with new subscribers and also sharing really valuable content with them, but in small bite-sized chunks. So they're not, they're not overwhelmed by your advice that you're giving them. It's just coming in bits and pieces over the course of five days so they can actually do something with that information and just learn little pieces at a time, which is much more appropriate when you're trying to teach somebody transformational topics like this. Now, over and above that, we have, I wanted to mention this, we have a, a free training post on Tools for Motivation. I'm gonna pop it into the chat here. Um, and it's called Building a Five-Day Mini Course with PLR. So in this training, I actually teach you how to take any PLR ebook and turn it into a five-day mini course or a ch mini challenge, whatever you want to call it, uh, using this principle. So instead of asking somebody to join your list and then giving them a 6,000 word ebook saying, hey, thanks for signing up, here's a book to read, you say, thanks for signing up for my list. Over the course of the next five days, I'm gonna be sharing uh, valuable tips with you in the form of a mini course. So I, in this lesson, I teach you how to do it, but a, a really important piece of the puzzle here is I give you templates in step number three here, let me pop it into the chat and I will include it in, in the links to the replay as well, uh, right here. And I'll just confirm, Chad, just can let me know if you can click this link. Sure, yeah. That looks okay? It works, yeah. Okay, great. So, um, and the reason I'm pointing this out before I get into the answer is you might wanna use these templates to actually do this work. Okay, so um, how do you turn this ebook into a five day mini course uh, that you distribute to your new subscribers. Well, in this case, we're really lucky because the ebook actually is a five step system that deals with, with disruptions beyond your control. So it's pretty, pretty obvious how you're going to break this up into five chunks. Now, having said that, a lot of our ebooks are not five steps to whatever. It might be eight steps or it might not be any steps at all. It might just be an overall book on the topic at hand. So you have to do a little bit of thinking in terms of how do I want to take the content inside of this ebook and break it into five parts so that I can distribute one part per day for five days. That's the only question you need to answer here. Once you've done that and you read through this book, um, then you can pretty much earmark where you want to split this up into five sections. In some cases, you don't even need to use the whole ebook. You might just want to want to focus on five little pieces of this little pieces of information that you want to share in the form of a course. But then all you really need to do is uh, turn this into five lessons and five exercises. Okay. So a lesson being something that you teach. Uh, so let's look at the five steps in this book here. Okay. So what is, what are the five um, step system to overcoming disruption? It is acceptance, planning, control, support, and then mind, body, and health. So, Day one would be acceptance, okay? So if we go down to that section of the book, did I miss it or is it, or is it further down? <laughs> Let me just give, bear with me one second here. Yeah, here we go, so acceptance. So this might be lesson one, day one, okay? I could literally grab all of this text, however far it goes, and I would have to read it and decide how much and how little to include. Uh, and that would be the specific lesson then I would need to give them an exercise. Now, in some cases, you could open the workbook that comes with this product and pull out an, uh, an exercise that we've already pre-written for you. Uh, you would have to actually look in that workbook and decide, is the exercise that we've included in advance making sense for this particular product? I'm not gonna do that in this case. What I am gonna show you is uh, an existing one I already had open here. Here's one we did last year on um, social anxiety. It was um, hel helping people deal with social, social situations better. Okay, so we had already, in, in that particular product, we had already created a five-day repackaging of an ebook. So we took one of the lessons, this is the exercise actually, we took one of the um, chapters of the ebook, it was called Social Fears, we put it into what's about a four-page document here, okay? And there's a little intro. So day one actually starts right here. I'm going to make this a bit bigger because it's probably hard for you guys to see on the share. So day one starts here in this five-day mini course. All we did to create this, this day one lesson was literally copy and paste a section of our ebook, just like I'm suggesting you do here with this upheaval ebook. 
So whatever PLR ebook you're working with, you could do the same thing. And you just decide, okay, this is going to be day one, lesson one. Okay. And then we had a workbook and we pulled out a couple of exercises from it. So we had uh, step one, asking the, the, uh, the student a question, and then they just write out their answers. Step two, getting them to brainstorm. And then step three, um, asking them to list out things that, that they're concerned about. Okay. So how you could distribute this to your customers is entirely up to you. In the base model of what we've done in the past, and especially if you look at this lesson here, what we normally do is we just say, hey, all you need to do to create a five-day mini course is create a sign-up form somewhere on your website uh, that advertises the five-day mini course and they join your list. Then you go into your autoresponder system. So in our case, we use Active Campaign, which is right here. And you can create uh, email messages to your list. So I could create an automation here. And whatever platform you're using will have different implementations of it. But let's say, for example, um, this is one of our upcoming automations. But this would be a very similar scenario to what you're doing. And you would say something like, okay, somebody just signed up for my five-day e-course. Take them through the sequence of events. And in my case, it's send an email on day one, send another email on day two, day three, day four, day five, whatever it may be. If you're using a Weber, you would use something called an autoresponder. Uh, and those are just emails that you set up in an email view. Uh, if you're using active campaign, you can do it more visually, but the idea being it's five emails, right? Day one, you just say something to the effect of, Hey, welcome to day one of our training. Uh, in this first lesson, we're going to be talking about, and then whatever it is, in my case, it was, uh, social fears. And I might say something like, uh, to get to the, to day one, the full lesson, click here to read. And then from there, I either take them to my webpage or I, I have them open up a PDF with the full lesson in it, or I could actually embed the full lesson directly into my email if I want to do it that way as well. My best recommendation would be for you to host these five days on private pages on your website, because then you're training people to open an email, read what you're teaching them, click on a link, and then visit your website to take further action. It gets them in the habit of going to your website and doing stuff. So if you want to sell stuff down the road, now they've already kind of been conditioned to click your link in your email, go to your website and do something. So you could do something like this. Um, you could, I've already created one here. You could create five days each as, or day one through five, each as a page on your website. And then what you would do is if you're using WordPress, you could literally just password protect the page and then include the password in your little email welcome to the customer or to your new subscriber saying, hey, uh, day one's ready to go. All you have to do is go here. The password for the page is X, Y, Z. Okay. And then you, you just put your course material on this page. Now, what I, if you really want bonus points here, what I would recommend you do is you pull a lesson out of the ebook, just like I was talking about. So day one is on acceptance. So, so we could do something like that here. Let's actually do it. I'll just grab that. So we'll say um, day one, lesson one. We paste in the PLR content. And then we have day one, exercise one. And then I would actually, um, I'm not going to do it right now to save time, but I would go into the workbook that comes with this PLR and I would paste one of the exercises, assuming it matches this. So uh, brainstorm your acceptance ideas below and maybe you give them bullet points or something to work with uh, point one point two etc okay so let's actually just make this a uh, little bit bigger so it looks decent when we go to publish this and I'll preview this really quickly so you can get the idea oh, I was actually messing okay so this could be um, day one of your five day mini course where you're nurturing your new leads, you're getting them to come to your website, learn some stuff, um, and then maybe include some calls to action for joining a paid program or whatever, right? And that could be at the bottom of each exercise. Now, what you'll do is over time, you could really enhance this. So I could create a personalized video at the top of each of the five days, which I highly recommend you do if you are doing personal branding, like I mentioned earlier. So for example, you do coaching, um, you do any form of presentation or webinar and you're selling on that webinar, it's you as the expert doing it. 
if you're an expert in any right and you're kind of doing that personal branding vibe with your marketing, then a video of you at the top, even if it's just 30 seconds saying, hey, welcome to day one. Uh, today we're talking about the first step of the upheaval process, which is acceptance. It's really a key step in all of this. So pre please read the lesson below and perform the exercise. If you have any questions, uh, hit the contact link and let me know. Okay, and then at the bottom of all this, again, do some selling to a paid program or whatever you want to do. So to see what that would look, sorry, go ahead, Chad. Uh, Melanie just mentioned in here, just to clarify that the, you're, you took some content out of an ebook and they would have to have purchased that mini challenge course to view this content because you can't just give it away if it's from the ebook, correct? Amazing question. So you can actually give it away for free if it is locked down or, or delivered privately to your subscribers. So if you read our license carefully, it actually says um, we don't allow you to give it away as public content like a blog post, but we do allow you to give it away if it's to a subscriber that had to sign up for your list and is accessing it through a private point. So uh, I might have glossed over it too quickly earlier, but this page, you would actually, instead of making it public, you would password protect it with something like uh, customer 2020. And then in your email that goes out each day, right? Because you're going to have day one, two, three, four, five. So you'll have email one, two, three, four, five for the new subscribers. Each email, you would give them the link to the private page and give them the password. And then they can unlock, unlock this lesson, which comes directly from the PLR ebook. And in which case, yes, you can totally use our PLR eBooks to do this. Absolutely. So that's an awesome question. Um, and it's something that I think people don't often get. Um, maybe our license could be improved there. So I'll take a look at that. But by all means, do that because it's, it's an amazing form of list building. And just to kind of finish that thought here, if you, uh, well, actually, no, I was going to embed the video, but you guys would get it. You guys kind of get what it would look like, right? It, instead of just being text. I would embed a YouTube video and all you have to do if you're using WordPress is literally grab the URL of the YouTube video, paste it into your visual editor and it automatically renders the video embedded in the page. People can just click play. I love this setup though, because now you have at the end of this five hidden or sorry, five private pages um, kind of set up in a premium tier on your website, password protected for people who have subscribed to your mailing list. And now you're taking them through a five day or whatever you want. It could be a 10 day process where they're engaging with you day after day, learning little bits of the puzzle. And by the end of this five or 10 day journey, they have the full picture of what they're learning. And they've probably actually been able to take some action on those ideas. Think of it the other way around. If you just give them a 6,000 word ebook for signing up and leave it to them, and now they have like 20 things to learn, they're probably not gonna do any of it. But if you distribute the information uh, short and to the point like this, and just give them little things to try, gives you the chance to engage with them. I've even see pe seen people um, leave the comment section open here and they actually do a bit of coaching here. I can't remember if you can still do it, but at, a t at, at one point you could embed Facebook comments on pages like this and, uh, and create engagement that way. I don't know if that's still something you can do or not. Chad, I don't know if you've seen that lately. Uh, um, yeah, some people put, put, the, uh, put Facebook comments on there. I think because you want to keep it private, you'd probably want to just have it locked down to just your own site so people don't Yeah, it. right. That's a good point. Yeah, but you could still, yeah, you could still leave a comment section open there and then yeah, um, have, your, have your, your community chatting in there and giving some, some questions and feedback and things. Exactly. Yeah. And, and even encourage people like, Hey, if there's a challenge in one of these things, if there's an exercise and it's a, an accountability thing, they could even post it. You know, I intend to whatever it could mm -hmm. become a little, a place for them to meet people and get accountability. Right. So you can create that environment on your website, all through these private pages. So that to me is one of the best examples of using PLR beyond just selling it straight up because now you're creating really highly engaging content that will allow you to um, uh, basically get your subscribers working with you and opening your emails more often. Because a lot of people shy away from mailing their list every day or every other day, but I, I often recommend very frequent mailing to get people in the habit of listening to you. I also know there's, yeah. there's Q and A's coming in. So yeah, I'll, I'll go through a couple. Okay. I think, I think the, this is definitely a great demo to show how you can use it, use the content in more uh, options than just an ebook PDF, right? There's, there are other options you can use it for your website. Um, yeah. And I think the, the, the clarification just came in because people were just confused about, uh, well, some, some PLR providers require you to only give the content out as PDF format. Right. But I don't think you have that limitation with the, no, not at all. As long, as long as it's not publicly 
searchable basically, right? You had, yeah. you, you need to jump through some hoops to get to this content. And in this case, you need to sign up for the person's list. So who was it? It was, um, and Melanie was asking. Was, yeah. yeah. And it was Michael who had the original question. So if Michael's building the five day challenge on his website and helping people through the upheaval process, they would have need to uh, join Michael's mailing list, right? And they'd need to open Michael's broadcast that shares the password to get to this page. So as long as that's in place, the, the, as far as we're concerned at Tools for Motivation, the content's still premium because it's only being shared with people that have signed up to receive it. They're not just coming across it in a blog post, for example. Yeah, they've opted in or they have an account on a membership site or it's just essentially Google can't crawl this and start just showing it in Google results for the public. Exactly. And if you are worried about that, then my, the original take that I have on this, which is through the uh, training on the course, or the, um, the training block here, this is just done in a way that you're distributing, you're, you're just sending out five emails and you're attaching PDFs to those emails. So um, I see a lot of people saying, my website's not ready yet. I don't have my coaching sales page up yet and blah, blah, blah. That's all right. You can still do your list building and engage with your subscribers until you're ready. Send your five-day mini course out through attachments in an email. Don't let not having a website stop you, right? So, mm -hmm. or, or put it, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> put it in some other format where you're not letting any of those technical barriers prevent you from distributing good content out to your list and engaging with your customers. Because at the end of the day, your website isn't really all that important. What's important is you being able to communicate with an ideal list of prospects who ultimately become customers or clients. Uh, there's people that make tons of money that don't even have a website that do that, just do direct response stuff, right? So you don't need yeah. all of that fancy stuff. Uh, Janine, I think it's Janine, correct me if I'm saying your name wrong, but uh, she, she's asking just, maybe you can go back to the, uh, the full product page for the last product that you were showing and just yeah, the uh, upheaval system here. Yeah, upheaval and just explain the rights of what can be given away and what is meant to be sold. And, is the, and she's asking, are the rights the same for all your products? For any, for any full product, that, which is listed in our store at usually about 127 up to 177, then um, basically you can publish uh, all the content freely except anything listed under, <clears throat> excuse me, the premium content section. So these are usually things like the ebook, the uh, or the enhanced ebook, which has graphics in it. It's the exact same book, just with images. Uh, the workbook and the audiobook. That's premium. Below that, you have a lead generation report, uh, autoresponder series. Uh, actually, this I have to double check, but I think anything that you see in the rest of this page, you can just publish anywhere. So all these articles. Uh, the articles have been purpose, uh, repurposed into mini reports. So this is a section called branding content that I'm in now. Um, the article slide decks. So that's basically slides repurposed from articles, a checklist from the ebook, and then all these social posters. So there's a ton of material here that's designed literally for you to put on your blog or your social pages freely to share. We just really don't, at the end of the day, we just really don't want you publishing the ebook or the workbook or the audiobook as just a blog post. And when you say freely, you just mean not publicly, like, like you did your five day challenge, you didn't charge for it, but it, you required an email opt in to access the Correct. content. Correct. Yeah. Uh, freely isn't a great word. You're right. Publicly is the better word for sure. Um, and then, yeah, it, ideally you are monetizing the content in some way, shape or form. So in some cases, uh, people just won't give any of this away, right? They take the ebook, the workbook and the audiobook. let's say. That's a nice little combo. That's a digital product you could sell for, let's say 27 bucks on a self-help website. And then you do, maybe you take the, um, what it's designed for here, the lead generation report and give that away um, as your freebie to get people to join your list and engage. The, re the, the reason I didn't talk about the lead generation report in my previous example is because somebody wanted to specifically go through a five day challenge and typically the lead generation report won't have enough content to do a five day challenge. This would be more like a two day challenge with this type of content. Um, so if you want to do five or 10 day, you would need a longer book, in which case you would use one of our eBooks to do that. So hopefully I'm not blurring the lines here or confusing people. Um, yeah, usually the workflow would be, you would take your lead gen content, which is a perfect, you know, lead magnet report that you can just put as a PDF, put it as a free download. They put their email and they get that. And then you're upselling them the, the full course or ebook. Yeah, that, that would be the out of box usage scenario for most of our PLR products. Mm -hmm. And then of course, naturally with the lead gen report, 
we create this autoresponder series. So these are 10 different emails that talk about the topic at hand. So in this case, upheaval. Um, and then in each of those emails, you could have a call to action to get people to buy the audiobook, workbook, ebook here. But again, because this is PLR and there's a lot of flexibility, this autoresponder series, the ebook, those could become tools for you, or uh, I guess raw materials for you to use in the creation of something like a five day course if you wanted to go above and beyond our standard packaging. So it's a good example because a lot of people just if they're new to PLR, they look at the way we've listed it here and they just think, oh, this is all I can do with it is sell the ebook, sell the workbook, um, mm -hmm. publish the articles and that's it. No, the, the, you can get really, really creative with all of this. Um, I've seen people take like three or four of these articles and turn that into a mini workbook or a mini ebook that they give away uh, on its own, right? So sometimes just blending articles together if they're well-written and they cover a wide range of topics, would be enough to suffice as a, as a lead gen report in some cases. So um, yeah, you can get super creative yeah. and flexible. Be creative and yeah, that's one of the advantages of PLR, right? You just get to take it and use it as you'd like. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun just being able to come up with new ways of doing it. We, you know, podcasts, we've done other trainings where we've done podcasts out of it, uh, you know, SoundCloud recordings, a um, whole bunch of different ways you can use it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the videos, or one of the previous trainings Chad and I did was we had this whole concept of Chad and I could probably sit down uh, for 20 to 30 minutes and then uh, before we start up a Zoom. Then we start up a Zoom call. We wouldn't have anybody on. We do it as a meeting and record it. And, and in that 20 minute prep, we would just read through a book like this. We would probably pick a topic that was super familiar for us. So we've done this with some business PLR before. And then we would just kind of earmark certain parts of the book. And we'll say, okay, Chad, when we, when we launch this Zoom, we're going to set a timer for 20 minutes and we're going to go through these five or six sections of the book. I will read the intro paragraph and then we're just going to talk. And, and we spend maybe five minutes talking about each of the four or five sections that we determine in advance. And at the end of that 20 minute Zoom recording, we have a, a piece of video content that we could sell or at the very least give away as lead generation content. That's to me an amazing way of using a, a PLR ebook to create something 100% unique. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually uh, use this type of material just as a conversation starter. And in a lot of cases, you will unlock content out of your own brain simply by <laughs> responding to material that's been pre-written for you in PLR. And, uh, and that might be all you need to just get the ball rolling on some stuff. How, Chad, remember the one we did on overcoming business overwhelm? Yeah, that was a great one. So this was a whole PLR course written um, by Sharon Sheldon at, and her team at Content Sparks. As the name suggests, there's, running a business can be super overwhelming. So there was like five or six modules on different things you could do to uh, remain cool and keep your business going. And, and all Chad and I had to do was read the title and intro paragraph to each of the modules. And we had like 10 minutes of content each to talk about. And we created this really cool video course just from that, just from those prompts. And then, and then what was nice about it was Sharon's course was so complete that in addition to our videos, there was a bunch of handout material that we did not have to write. We literally pulled Sharon's stuff, the little handouts and the workbooks that came with hers and attached each one to the relevant lesson of the video that we created. And at the end of this few hour session, we had this full product video course that we could sell as our own personally branded course. So really super powerful um, type of implementation if you have an expertise in some area, which everybody here on the call does. You just have to hone in on what that is and then find PLR to help you extract that from your brain. Cool. So, all right, Chad, where are we at for questions? Great. We've here, got a couple so. more questions. One from Dietrich and, uh, and Ray. Ray's asking about uh, that upheav upheaval book that you just showed. Um, is it ready to be sold as is without making any changes or adding your thoughts or names to it? Yeah, absolutely. So by all of our products, especially the full products like this, where either they come with an ebook, it is designed to be sold literally as is. Uh, and you can do so, and that's fully within your rights. I always recommend at least some form of editing and customization. At the very least, adding your branding, uh, maybe adding your name or your business name or your logo, um, possibly even a bit of an intro or exit paragraph at the end, just so that you have a unique uh, 
um, spin on it from you as the expert or your company. If you run a training company and you have a bunch of trainers, maybe you put all of your pictures in there and you can just say, this is a common topic we talk about here at Training Company XYZ. Um, we really hope you get some value out of this ebook on the process of overcoming upheaval. Uh, the page, uh, you know, read the pages below and let us know if you have any questions. And then boom, you re it's just literally a tools for mo motivation ebook that you sell on your website. And people have done this. And I've even seen people do, um, they do the ebook and then they have the audiobook and workbook as an upsell, right? So you sell the ebook for 17 bucks. Then you say for another 10 bucks, um, we can give you the audio version. So if you're busy or if you're on the go and you want to listen to it, uh, you can do so. And then we've got some exercises here that go with it. Uh, to help you implement the, the information. And that could be a little sales funnel that you set up as well. So it's all ready to go. Um, you are not required to change anything. But again, my recommendation is that at least change a little bit so that it's unique because there are other customers who own a license to this exact package, right? So there's pros and cons to everything. The pro of investing in a PLR package like this is that you're going to save yourself thousands of dollars in uh, development costs, okay? Um, think about the work that goes into this. Okay. It's a 6,000 word or 6,500 word ebook in this case. Um, there is a ton of research that goes into it. Then there is the, um, first draft and there's a full writing of it. Then there's multiple edits, right? And then we have to format it and then we put it into these graphics and then we redo it in this visual ebook. And then we create a workbook for it. Uh, we have a team that records it in audio. And by the time you go through all of the stuff that's included in here, our true cost of development for most of our full products here is at least $2,000, sometimes up to three, depending on how much video and, and media that we do. Um, and you're, you're getting a license for 127 bucks. And if you're on our list or on our affiliates list, when we launch them, sometimes you can get it for a lot less than this as well. Okay. So for you, it's a huge time savings and a huge cost savings. Obviously the con of that is that other people own the exact same bundle of content. So uh, instead of having to write the whole things from scratch, you save a bunch of time and money by buying our license. And now you spend a bit of time either editing and customizing yourself or training your staff to be able to do it themselves. So we have a tutorial on tools, tools for motivation that shows you how to take this e-cover and completely change it. If you want to change the title or the background or even the colors, you can do that either with Photoshop or Pixel or different tools that are out there or someone on your team can do that. And now you have, even if you change nothing else, now you at least have a different title of your product, right? <laughs> and the more customizations you make, the less likely it is to be uh, in sync with any other PLR buyers out there. And once you get good at this, I, I could change this whole product uh, to match my own branding and my voice in like half an hour, just because I've been doing this for so many years. So to me, that's well worth a, uh, a small investment versus having to get writers and audio recorders and everybody to build and designers and whoever else builds this product for us and coordinate that team effort and take weeks and weeks and weeks to develop it. I'd rather just buy a PLR package like this for a few bucks, customize it and have my own product. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing's worse than having a white screen and having to type a, a whole ebook from scratch. <laughs> just having this content ready to go, it, it makes it much easier as a kickstarting uh, point. Yeah, like, and as an example, we had, um, we had a, a recent launch on um, self-confidence. It was a very similar product, 127 bucks for the main components. Um, and if you look at what comes in, it's, it's the exact same bundling as this that you saw here. The premium, the lead gen, the branding, uh, and the social, okay? Like even if you just look at the social piece, there are all these pre-made Instagram images, all these pre-made uh, Pinterest images, like totally uh, pre-sized, they're fully editable so you can change the tip. The tips have been pre-written for you. Um, and we sold it on the launch. If you were around and you didn't miss the mailers for, I think it was four days we had it open, you get the whole thing for 27 bucks. Now, uh, I, I watch a lot of the other PLR launches out there. It is hard to find any quality PLR for 27 bucks where you're getting all this stuff. So not to toot our own horn, but we've worked very hard at this business for like a decade. To, to find all of these amazing writers and researchers and content creators that work for us now. We've developed a system uh, so that we can pump out enough content and make enough promotions so that we can make this super affordable to people like you that are following us. Uh, and you really can't get packages like this anywhere for this price when we do it on our launch. Even if you paid the 127, it's, it's worth it. But when you get it on our launch prices, it's an unbelievable deal. 
even if you're only going to use just this ebook, 27 bucks is a great investment because you're not having to start from scratch. So, and and don't take my word for it. I mean, join our list if you're, if you're new and stick around and just get our freebies that we send out every week and just try it with that, okay? We send out tons of free content. You don't have to spend a dime. Uh, watch our webinars, try our free stuff, and if you like it, then try one of our packages and you, and just you be the judge. But I, I'm really super confident in the quality of content that we create here. We try to make it as affordable as possible to everybody. Exactly. Now, Dietrich asked earlier on about translation. So translating text from English to Dutch, for example, mm -hmm. and, uh, and being able to do, that, to do that for the lead generation content or any of the content, I guess. You could translate it because you have full editable control in the Word doc. Yeah, absolutely. We, we make no restrictions on that. You can fully translate it into any language that you like. There was actually a couple of our products way back in the day that uh, somebody translated for us into Spanish. And uh, we launched it and actually did quite well. So who knows, one day that might be something we open up again. But by all means, go ahead and translate anything you like. Uh, that's uh, completely within our license, by all means. Perfect. And uh, Janine was asking about podcasting. So I guess, yes, you could use the public content for a podcast as a as a you know as a script for a podcast if you really want like the articles and things like that and then she's also asking if attaching a transcript of your podcast is necessary so if you wanted to actually make a podcast and use a, a transcript of it okay well let me uh, i'll get you to touch on podcasting a bit more than me chad because you're definitely into that deeper than i am i will make a comment here though um because that question actually had a second layer and i don't know if everybody caught it but um, if you want to create a podcast and you're using our ebook, like upheaval here, which we've already discussed the licensing of, you can't take this ebook and just publish this as a blog post. We talked about that already, but then I gave that example of Chad and I, uh, if we were to walk through this ebook and maybe just read an opening paragraph and then discuss on a podcast, our thoughts on life coming at you too fast as an example right here where like 95% of the content is just us talking and it's being driven by a handful of words here in the, in the PDF, by all means, go ahead and publish that as free content. Because at the end of the day, nobody can tell that it comes from tools for motivation content. What we're doing here is we're just giving you a guideline of how to use this stuff. So if you happen to quote uh, three or four paragraphs from a 6,500 word ebook in our PLR catalog, to help you create a, a, a podcast that you want to publish for free, by all means, go ahead and do it. It's kind of one of those things that we don't specifically mention in our license, but it's really, there's no way that the end user would be, ever be able to tell that it came from Tools Motivation PLR. So that's fine. If you were to just read this whole book and then publish that as a podcast, that's a problem because now you're taking our content and making it freely available. So does that make sense, Chad? There's a distinct difference. Absolutely. Between yeah. Because it's, it's creation <laughs> versus copying. Yeah, and you're using it more as a starting point to be able to give your own opinions and your own thoughts, and that's mainly the, 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 the value that's in the podcast, right? And it's also the majority of the content. You're not just reading it. So yeah, it definitely makes sense. But you're using the ebook as a great um, you know, uh, structure for a podcast episode. Maybe it just you know, has great topics, and you just want to use it as, uh, as talking points. So. Exactly. And I mean, th there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that literally just review products or courses or movies or whatever. And, and they, they literally take clips of those things, show them and then, and then talk about them. So if you're doing that with an unbranded PLR document, as long as you're not narrating the whole thing, and at the end of the day, it's a unique creation in your voice, by all means, you could use any of our premium content to do that as well. Alvin has a question. He says, uh, I was looking for all your products and really want to invest in at least one bundle to test, but I'm not, but I'm really not confident where to start implementing it. So it will be an evergreen product. Any suggestions where I can start if I get one of your bundle PLRs? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough one to answer without knowing a lot about your business because it has, it's kind of has to be a means to something, right? If you, so I usually start with how do you generate revenue in your business? So are you selling a product or a service or is it some kind of hybrid of the two? Uh, and, then, and then we kind of work backwards from there. So if I'm selling, let's say uh, I'm selling a video course, 
what is the most uh, useful way for me to take PL? And, and, I, and I'm going to assume the course is already created, okay? So what's the most useful way of using PLR at this point? Well, for me, the, uh, I generate the majority of my sales through email marketing. So I would likely take a PLR bundle and find some way to weave that into growing my list. It could be creating an asset that I give away as a lead magnet and then maybe turning into some kind of five-day course like I mentioned earlier or taking a, a piece of that product and turning it into advice that I give in my email broadcast on a day-to-day -day basis. So one of the things I do to maintain customer loyalty for our subscribers on our mailing list is sending out freebies every week. So if you want to send some free stuff, free advice, free downloads, um, it could be a lesson or a worksheet once a week to your customers uh, to get them really comfortable doing business with you and hearing from you, then you could use PLR to create your first seven or eight assets that you give away for free to grow your loyalty on your email list. Once you've done that, now you can do a call to action for them to maybe consider buying your video course. So in that scenario, we started with the end goal being revenue generation. I want to sell some seats to my video training course. Working backwards, what's the most direct route to doing that? Email marketing. What's the most direct route to uh, being good at email marketing? Content. And I'm going to use PLR to grow my list or to give out assets to that list. Hopefully that makes sense. That's a single scenario out of probably hundreds I could come up with. Yeah, that's a great example. Um, we have a couple of just people just saying how great that they just love tools for motivation. You got lots of fans, Justin, which Woo! is great. I love hearing that. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Tells and, us we're doing uh, something right. And this training is very helpful to, uh, to Tammy and others. So, uh, yeah, it's great. We love, we love to, to jump on calls and just, uh, talk about implementation ways. Cause really that's one of the hardest parts is coming up with ways to, to use tools and then really get the content out there. Cause it, if you just buy the content and it just sits on your computer, it's, you know, we want to make sure that you're using it and uh, making the most of it. Right. Yeah. I've, I just popped in the chat. Now I see Tammy saying, I love this continuing education. Hearing from business owners keeps me engaged in the products versus people I never hear from. Most people who run sites and programs, uh, continued motivation is important to me. And that, that's a huge point. So thank you, Tammy, for sharing that. And that's like, I would say probably the number one piece of feedback that we get is that um, it's good to have a, it's good to find a website online that sells downloads that actually has people behind the scenes that answer phone calls or answer tickets and emails and is approachable and, it doesn't have to be you. Like if you're the CEO and you're, and you're really busy, it doesn't just have to be you. You could have people on your team doing a lot of this engagement. I personally do a lot of it because I enjoy it. And it's how I get a lot of knowledge and information about what to do next and what direction to take our company by talking to our customers. So I recommend people do it if they can create the time for it. Uh, but even something like that last example I gave with regards to email marketing, I'm being completely transparent that a large majority of our revenues come from us consistently sending out valuable emails to our list and we do a lot of promotions. Now, I don't often talk about the complaints we get, but there are people that complain that we mail too often or sometimes they accidentally get put on a couple of our automations and so they're getting multiple emails a day because we have different streams of marketing going on and that's not intentional. It's usually the system makes a mistake. We don't want to mail people more than once a day, uh, but it does happen. But I will err on the side of irritating people and then have to deal with that problem, which is usually me sending an email or a phone call or having someone on my team explain to them that it wasn't intentional and we're happy to take you off our list. But the reason we do it is because when we consistently mail and promote our stuff, we generate more sales and it brings in more cash flow for us to build more products and the stuff that people are requesting for us. And I've personally talked to hundreds of people that are subscribed to our list and count on us for developing their businesses. So I've literally talked to people that are grabbing stuff out of our members area. They're waiting patiently every Wednesday and Friday to download the stuff we're, we're building because they need it for their clients or for their membership sites that they're working on. So I actually see this trail from us developing it right through to the people that are actually using it. And for us to be able to afford the amount of content that we produce, like I'm not inflating it like on a sales page when people say, this is $10,000 worth of material here. Like it legit costs us like three grand to build a product. So I can't just go and spend $3,000 if I'm not aggressively promoting the stuff we've already built to the people that like what we do, the people that are showing up here today and saying that they're fans of us. So I will risk irritating the odd person 
because I see the meaning behind all this stuff. And usually when I explain it to the person and I don't just say, get off my list, you're, you're a jerk. Like I'll take the time to explain it. Look, I'm not trying to irritate you doing this because we believe in what we're building and we're trying to spread the word and all this stuff we're making. Uh, so I'm sharing this, uh, this transparently with you again, because Tammy just reinforced the point. It's important that people know why you do what you do and how you do what you do. And because we've been so aggressive and recently quite su successful in our marketing, we've built up some cash reserves to allow us to actually create some more content. So we're actually going to be able to release some new stuff in the coming months that we would never have been able to build. Uh, that's going to have huge benefits for our members and for people that are following us that we just couldn't have created for them had I not stuck with that plan. So don't let anybody take you off course, but at the same time, stay in the loop and talk to people so that you can actually see the benefit, like see that people are getting benefit from your work. And then you're so much more motivated to keep going in the past. Like when I first started, I was always so nervous to send out emails because I was worried about that exact thing, worried about bugging people. But then when you do it for so long and you see so many examples of people benefiting from what you do, uh, you completely lose all fear of it. You become super confident in what you do because you, you're actually getting that feedback from people telling you it's worth it. Exactly. <laughs> I just popped in at the end with Nancy saying we love to be bugged. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> we love to be bugged. Uh, yeah, Tom has a question uh, earlier on. He was asking just if you've done any training on your, I guess, in the, in the tools blog um, on building email lists. Do you have anything on that? Yeah, so we've changed it up a little bit here, but if you go to uh, training and then you go to the free training section here, you should be able to search and even scroll here. I think, yeah, here's some email marketing tips and tricks, using email automation. Um, I did one on sales funnels. I need to remember where I put that one. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to write that one down because I... Uh, yeah, I have one on sales funnels. I just can't remember where I put that one. It's not on our blog. I think it's only hidden somewhere because I did it as a premium. Uh, but absolutely, I've done tons of stuff on email marketing, list building, and so on. If people want to go deeper on it, I'm happy to do that. Um, and I would actually, if you are new to list building or email marketing, I would definitely recommend Active Campaign. Uh, so this is what the dashboard looks like. It's, there's tons of stuff you can do here. So, um, you can create campaigns for basically any, any segment of your list that you want to deal with. Now, what's really cool is we use WooCommerce and it has an integration with active campaign. WooCommerce is a shopping cart that lets us tag all of our customers with every item that they buy. So if you remember, I was showing you all of these different uh, products in our store here. So if you're a customer right now, uh, this lists a member discount because I'm logged in as a member here. So if you're a member, you'd actually see these prices. Um, and every time you add one of these to your cart and check out, it tags your name over here in active campaign. So then I can create campaigns to a specific tag. So let's say we have a hundred people buy that upheaval product. And then we have a new product come out. That's very similar. I can mail just those people and say, Hey, you are a customer of upheaval. I got to let you know, we've got this new video course on whatever, uh, and because you've bought upheaval, here's a 50% off coupon, right? Super targeted marketing like that, that you can only do with a system like active campaign or drip, I think Infusionsoft as well, but that's super expensive. Um, some of the cheaper systems like Aweber, get response. And some of those guys, I don't think they have quite that level of, um, automation. Maybe they do Chad, you know, more of them than I do. Uh, yeah, they have, there's lots of automation options here for, um, also tracking, how much someone spent with you, uh, you know, if you're mm -hmm. integrating your e-commerce completely with them, you can, so you maybe want to see who your best clients are or your best customers are that have spent over a hundred dollars to send them a special offer or a coupon or a thank you note or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, Lots uh, e email marketing is huge and I will probably not go too deep on that now because that, that could be a whole webinar and I, I would need to compile a bunch of questions because I, I don't, I just do it, right? There's just people that, claim to be email marketing gurus, but I, I, I've never created a course on it. I just do it every day, but I could probably reverse engineer what I do, the things that work and the things that don't put it into a course. So I'm just going to look here. It says, so Tammy's saying, we'd love to see a product or training called building your email list and you're starting with zero. So definitely could do that. Um, so that will give us a bit of a segue, maybe into a future uh, Q and a, or maybe a more structured webinar. See, Melanie's saying I, what you just shared about emails is so timely as I've struggled with that issue about emailing too often. 
sharing your experience just helps release the last of a lingering block for me. So excellent. Yeah. And quite honestly, Melanie, it, like I, I've sent thousands of broadcasts in, in my uh, marketing career and in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that too, like, okay, like I don't worry about bugging people anymore, but it's like, is this email valuable? Like would I, would I want to receive this as a customer? So it's always there. Like I'm always really thinking, is the person receiving this going to get genuine value? And I typically um, will think about some of the recent conversations that I have. So I, I, I post my cell phone number on a lot of our marketing and I, you know, once a day or so I get a call from customers and it's always, uh, they're always super grateful that they can get a hold of me on the phone. But then I always have a conversation with them about their business. So I'm thinking about that person when I write the email. I'm like, oh yeah, Marcus would really like this, uh, this broadcast I'm sending him. So it makes it more personal versus I'm sending this to thousands of people or are they all going to be mad? Like you just, it just never happens that way, but your mind might go there. Um, so that's a good, great way of getting over it is just think about the actual people that you are um, sending this to. Maybe somebody that you've chatted with. Yeah. Uh, Tammy says uh, she's thinking of buying your program about virtual summits. And oh, she's asking uh, how detailed this product is. That's a, a great question. I, I couldn't tell you to be honest because, because so Ted, published it as, uh, Ted published it as one of our trainings. He vetted it. We, that's actually a PLR product. We bought it from one of our partners and rebranded it to Tools for Motivation just as a training. So it's not PLR. It's just for education. Um, but it, it comes from Charles Harper, who's a great trainer. So my guess would be um, if it's in our store, it'd be super detailed because we wouldn't post it otherwise. So yeah, he usually does like over the shoulder type videos. Yeah, so he'll walk he's really you through good. everything. He's really good. He's a good narrator. Um, but that, that's a good example too, because we practice what we preach. We, we purchase uh, good quality PLR to use in certain trainings. Sometimes we just post the product as is often we'll do a bit of uh, tweaking, modifying it. Like we suggest. Um, yeah, that's a good one though, for sure. Um, yeah, virtual summits in this time are really popular, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And then Ray is saying, uh, rookie here. One of my fears is that I may not know what format to use when adding my thoughts, uh, in terms of format, I don't know if you're talking like specific, like tech, like, like formatting the page, or you just mean the tone to speak in. Um, it would, it would really depend on what angle you're going with your question there, but there's really no right or wrong. I think that's probably more a case of you just being a rookie and, being unsure of yourself just because you don't have enough experience of putting your stuff out there. So mm -hmm. I would say, I would say just do what comes naturally to you. Do what you can do quickly. And honestly, uh, some of my best content is the stuff I write in a hurry. So if I want to, uh, if I want to get my best ideas out, I might set a timer for 10 minutes and just write feverishly and then go back and then just kind of clean it up. But when I'm, when I go into that space, it's almost like I've cleared all of my, negative thoughts and the things that may distract me from the, the topic at hand. And I just focus on the fact that I've only got 10 minutes to pull this off. And I seem to tap into like another level of my brain and I get really good content when I do that. So you might want to try something like, you know, a five or 10 minute window, set a timer and just type as fast as you can. Just, I'm going to write everything I know about accounting, go. <laughs> and, then, and then you just write and then go back and read what you put and extract the nuggets from that. And then just put it into a readable format, you know, a few paragraphs or put it on a slide deck with bullet points. doesn't really matter. Um, if it's coming from you and it's authentic and it's based on stuff that works and it comes from your experience, it, it'll, it'll be received by the people who are ready to receive it. And the name of the shopping cart we use, Gary, is Woo Commerce. W O O Commerce. It's a free plugin for WordPress. Yeah, very powerful. Um, excellent. I'm glad you got that answer there, Ray. Um, okay, I don't know if we missed any questions, Chad. I, I, I know we were going to get Chad to do a quick demo here. Um, I don't know if, if we still have time. Yeah, we're about ten after two. Yeah. Do you have Do you have maybe five minutes to just do a quick? Sure. You guys, you guys want to see some? You guys okay sticking around a little longer? We're already about an hour, but uh... we got. Oh yeah, we got some yeses here. So excellent. <laughs> so, so what this is? While you queue it up, Chad, on your on your, I guess you can take over the share here. Sure. Yeah. Um, so so last week, Chad sent me an email, and uh, he said he was like, hey the there's this uh, app out on a, uh, I don't know if you're showing that one first or second. Um, it's called Crello and they've got lifetime pricing, whatever. He, and it was like, it was available for way less than he paid. So I literally mm -hmm. clicked the link and went and bought it because that's how much I trust, I trust Chad. 
And, uh, and then I, and then after the fact, I realized like, this is going to be huge for tools motivation, but I haven't used it yet. And it's called Crello. Now I don't know if you're going to get to that right now or a second. Yeah. I'll, I'll walk through those. I'll just post, I'll just post the links in, um, I'll go through all four of these maybe as uh, some options here. Um, so these are three deals that are right now on AppSumo. If you don't know what AppSumo is, it's just a, a site that sells lifetime deals to some tools for very limited time. And these three are currently available that I think go very well with using PLR content. Now I've purchased all these and I have, I've been using some of them for a while, uh, Beacon and Crello. Uh, Crello in particular, I paid, I think, 100 and 150 or 180 dollars for the lifetime deal last year and now it's on for i think 50 bucks or something on AppSumo. so <laughs> complete steal and that's a lifetime deal for unlimited usage of it so uh right now on my screen i have canva which justin and i use a lot uh just because it has a free option so it's really great but one thing that canva seems to lack a little bit in is video content so they have a little bit of video content but if you're on instagram uh, you know, or Facebook, maybe you have a Facebook group or Facebook page using video is a really great way to get more attention than just a static graphic. So like if I go in here and I just type in an Instagram post, um, it's Instagram, um, you know, all their templates on here are static. So for example, Canada day, you know, that's a great graphic, but it doesn't really get my attention if I'm scrolling through a Facebook feed and I see the image. So one of the advantages of Crello is that it has all the features of Canva with graphics and it has templates and everything, but they do a real better job on the video front I find. So let me just show you what we're talking about here. So right now Crello is, uh, well, this is Canadian because Justin and I are in Canada, but I think it's around $10 a month uh, for their pro plan. But right now with that deal, you're getting it for, uh, you're getting a lifetime for a one-time payment, right? So you don't have to pay the monthly fee anymore and you get the pro plan, which gives you pretty much everything here, including some access to uh, the, the, all, their, all their pro templates and also some, uh, some, um, some stock stuff as well. So let me just log in here and I'll show you. Oh, uh, sorry, Crello is $8 a month. So you're, you're not having to pay that monthly fee and you don't have to pay the Crello pro fee because Crello, Crello even, uh, sorry, Canva even costs more. So, uh, so no more monthly fees. You just pay your one-time fee and you get access to their pro plan, which is their highest plan. So let me just show you. It looks very similar to Canva as you can see here, Crello, but um, uh, they have a lot of video options here, which I really like. So for, for example, I just had a podcast episode go out where I made this graphic, this animated graphic here. And it literally took me a minute to make this video and it just looks so cool uh, being able to just uh, uh, to make animations in just a few seconds. So let me just play it for you. So like the background here moving and some squiggle lines moving and you can also have it different frames. So this will actually play first and then it ends up switching over to this frame at the end. So you can have different like stages of the animation as well. So really cool for video. And you can save this as an MP4, as an animated uh, GIF file. Um, so lots of different options for the animations as well. And you get unlimited exports of these videos with this, uh, with this deal. So um, yeah. And on, and on Instagram, it just replays the video over and over. So it, just and you just, it like goes an, into a loop. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, awesome. it's, it's really, really cool. So for example, here, uh, when you go to their front page, you get all the templates for like, you know, um, graphics and stuff, but this is the one I want to bring your attention to. So Instagram video stories, and you also get square video posts, which are great for both Instagram and on Facebook, if you're doing it on your page and they also have full video files. So you wanted to use it for a, a you know, a Facebook ad or. Yeah. Tammy um, was just asking if the videos work for Facebook. So they do. Yeah. Yeah. So you download the file as an MP4 file, so you can put it wherever you want. You can save it to your phone. You can upload it to Instagram. Uh, if you use Buffer or Hootsuite, you can upload them directly into Instagram uh, from your computer, from your desktop, uh, if you have those tools. So really great. And you can share them on Facebook groups. You know, I use them a lot for Facebook groups just to uh, welcome new members and things and have fun little animations. So for example, let's just pick um, a square video post here. I'll just click on that. And you can see, um, I'll just close this and load up a square video post. So on the left-hand side, it looks almost identical to to Canva, right? You get your templates on the left-hand side here. All these ones with the little, little icon here are pro user templates, but with this deal, you get access to all the pro templates. There's no limitations on them. So um, when you hover your mouse over them, you can see a little preview of what the animation looks like. 
Um, and then you can, uh, and they also have a lot of really good seasonal things. Like if there's a holiday coming up, then you'll notice that these templates are all showing, you know, about that holiday. So you can use them for your, you know, welcoming someone to a, a group or you use it for Valentine's day, or you have a special promo for Christmas or boxing day. Um, like let's just type in boxing day. They probably have a bunch here. Uh, so boxing day and, uh, it's a very Canadian thing, but yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess so. Um, let's just type in Christmas and, uh, there's probably lots here. So yeah. So for Christmas time, here's uh, here's some, some graphics here. Um, but, uh, for, but for video, you also get stock video and there's stock photos and stuff like that. Um, but for the video templates, like just really, really cool. So all you do is just click on that. You want a video template. It loads the video templates in on the left-hand side. You just click on one. Um, let's pick, uh, let's pick this one here. Yeah, so much like Canva, it's cool. Yeah, so uh, say that you just you have your ebook that you just want, you just launched, and you want to do a launch video on your on your Facebook page or on Instagram. Um, so you would just replace this image with the the ebook cover, for example, uh, and then have this be your text for um, for what that ebook is about or what the sale is. Maybe it's you know for a uh, new launch, forty uh, percent off today only. And, uh, and then once you've done that, you can click on play to preview it. Let me just move my zoom out the way. So there you go. It's a little slideshow of a couple of different graphics. And uh, all of this is editable. So you can drag this around. You can delete things. Um, you can, you know, whatever you want. Lots of options. You can bring in graphics from their library here. Um, say we, we want a, a book. Uh, let's just drag this in here. So lots of really, really great flexibility. And once you're finished, uh, we can change the text here. Uh, once you're finished, all you have to do is, uh, is, is click to make it uh, into a video file. So um, it's also similar to, uh, to Photoshop where you have layers. Let me show you that. Uh, where's layers here? I think it's this Sabrina's one. asking if you could add links in, in the video, it would just be, you could press, you could, Put a text. Yeah, you can't add links inside of a video, but you would put it in your post itself, right? Yeah, so yeah. let me just show you that. You could type so let, out the URL. Yeah. Um, so let's just say that I, I have this video file here. I'll just make this really big just to show it like that. Um, so I'm going to, so say this is my, my video. Um, and uh, this isn't animated right now. I'd have to play, obviously play around with it. But um, say that this is a video here where it's the slideshow of the moving uh, slideshow there. I can just click on download, click on MP4 file, and it saves it as an MP4 on your computer. Then you can go to Facebook. You could post this as a video into Facebook. Or if you're using those tools, like, like I mentioned, Buffer or Hootsuite, or you save it to your phone, then you can put it right into Instagram as a video post. And you want to make sure that it's a minute long for Instagram, uh, but Facebook doesn't have a limit if you're uploading to Facebook. Uh, so this just takes a minute to export it, and then you get your video file, and there's no watermarks on it or anything. It just gives you the full video. So really, really cool. Um, so that, that's Crello. Um, let me uh, see if there's any questions here. It was just the one on links. I was keeping an eye on that. Oh, on yeah. links. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah, you can't put links in videos, but you would put it in your Facebook post and then you'd have the link in the actual post itself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's Crello. So really, really cool. And, uh, and, and you can't beat the price for having access to just everything in here. And you can use this for a lifetime. And, uh, and you can also save templates and reuse them. So say that you really like the, the, the color scheme of this one, uh, with the purple and yellow, and you, and you just end up changing this picture for different posts. You can save this as a template and then reuse it in your dashboard. So when you go back to your dashboard, you can just find your templates down here that you've already used, and then you can just reuse it. Like there's, there's the one I just did with the book and the text. I can just click on it and then and reuse it as a new design. So really, yeah. really cool. They have really good uh, quote graphics and a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, yeah, we, and we do every Wednesday at Tools for Motivation, we do a self-help tips report, which are short, but they're great tips on like very targeted topics. So this is a great tool for repurposing something like that. We do some out of box repurposing, but I just, I, I love keeping my eye on tools like this just because it's another way of taking PLR content, personalizing it, and then customizing it to your brand. And all you really need is to, to marry the two together, right? You got the text stuff from PLR and then you have a tool like Crello and you have basically an unlimited amount of marketing content here if you know what you want to do. 
Exactly. Yeah. And just if you're not a designer, it's great having these pre-done templates like with animations like this and um, just being able to go into their library and just drag and drop things without having to know Photoshop or having to know a video software. Uh, so really, really easy to, to make little animated promo graphics like this. Um, the other tool I wanted to mention is in video. So this is another deal. Um, I'll post the link. I think I posted it. Yeah, it's in, in, in the chat room there. Yeah, just um, it's on AppSumo. Uh, and this one has a really cool, well, it, it's very similar to Crello and the uh, and, and Canva, where you can drag and drop and build templates. Uh, let me just show you how it works here. We'll, uh, uh, we'll just go to our projects. And let me just build a new product here, project. So, uh, so our, they have pre-made templates, so you can choose YouTube, for example. Maybe you wanna make an intro to a YouTube video that you have on your channel, or you wanna use, a, and again, an Instagram story, or a Facebook story, or a Facebook newsfeed graphic. Um, these are all videos. So uh, you just hover your mouse over it, and you can watch the, uh, the sample of it. And they have hundreds of videos in here that are already pre-done, like the full template, even logo placeholders like this. Like maybe I want that to be my intro for my YouTube uh, video with my, uh, my social media links at the bottom here, so our usernames. So if I wanted to change this, all you have to do is just click on it and then you choose your, there's the preview. You can choose the format. So if you want it to be a normal video size, something vertical for Instagram or square. Uh, and so I'll, I'll just pick a regular size. And, uh, and that's it, you bring it in. You have a very similar interface to, the, to Crello and Canva where you can just drag and drop your text, move things around, upload your logo. So it's asking for a logo, but uh, so you would pick your logo from your computer, it replaces it here, puts your logo there. Everything's drag and drop. You can change the text on anything. You can add text, add graphics. Uh, you know, you have full layers on the side here to, to move things around. And you also have this timeline at the bottom of, of the actual video. So you can make sure it's a minute for Instagram or not. Um, you can have multiple scenes, just really, really great web-based interface. You don't have to download any software. It works on Windows and Mac. Uh, you just need to, to open it in your browser and start to, to build stuff. And you just export this as a video file like we did with Canva. Nice. So uh, two really cool video tools that, um, that I'm using right now for a lot of my content. Um, one that I wanted to, uh, Mil uh, Melanie's asking, which do you recommend to start? Um, yeah, I would probably get Canva to start because it's a really good hybrid tool for graphics and video. Uh, this one in video is just for video if we're sticking to video content. Um, but they're both great, uh, great deals and both very inexpensive. Um, now one tool that I, I wanted to mention, cause we were talking about it earlier, Justin, when you were going through your, um, example with Canva, I'm using the presentation templates for yes. building an ebook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this tool has been around for a while. I've used it. Uh, I think I bought it two years ago and I've been using it a little bit. Um, it's really great for those who aren't designers, but want to make an ebook that looks really pretty. Um, an actual like PDF ebook. So, um, or if they wanna make a lead magnet from their blog post. So maybe you've taken Justin's content for a blog post. So it's, uh, you know, each package usually has around 10 blog articles you can use for your blog. You've put them on your WordPress site and now maybe you wanna use one of those blog posts as a lead magnet or you wanna have a downloadable PDF where maybe it's a long blog post. A really good uh, marketing technique is just to have a button at the top of the blog post saying, hey, don't have time to read this blog? Click here and enter your email and I'll send you this blog post as a PDF version, which they can uh, save and read later. So uh, this tool is really cool for that. It's called Beacon. And how it works is uh, it lets you make lead magnets out of blog posts or, or you can copy and paste content from a Word document if you want it to. Um, so once you, and then right now it's on a lifetime deal for $50. So $50 lifetime deal, you get access to make a limited eBooks. Um, so once you log into your account, you get these options of what you'd like to build. So you want to make a checklist. Do you want to make an eBook, um, a resource guide, a workbook? Uh, so usually you use it as an eBook and you just click on eBook. And then it asks you, do you have blog content you'd like to put into this eBook? So I would just say yes. And now you can choose from WordPress and you can put the, uh, the blog post link here. So let me just take um, a, a blog post from my blog here. I'll just take a random blog post here. Uh, here's something about um, a learn dash. So I'll just take this blog link and I will put it into here. And then it takes all the content from that blog and puts it into an ebook ready format. 
The next thing is that you get to choose it from a template. So they have lots of great templates here, as you can see. Um, I'll just pick, uh, I'll just pick this one here. You give it a name. So, uh, you know, lead magnet, whenever the name's going to be. And now it gives you the option to, uh, to actually edit all your pages in your lead magnet. So now you can put a table of contents if you want. You can put your introduction. You can have a page here with a call to action about your coaching program or something like that. And then when you actually get into the content, here's the one, here's the content that was imported from my blog, right? So I can just delete this. And now here's that blog content that it took from my website. So I can edit the content here. I can change it up a little bit, but it formats it nicely into this uh, this design with the nice header and colors. I can change the branding and the colors and make it look like my, my own, uh, my own ebook here. And then I can export this as a PDF file and use it in my blog. So Alvin's really cool too. If it, Alvin's asking if it does mockups, cover mockups. Um, I don't think it does cover mockups necessarily. Yeah, I like think I think the does. templates, that, I think the templates Just that it book. comes with, yeah, for the book, you can use their templates for that first page. Like, um, where was it? I've lost where I was here, the cover page here. Like this one was, you can put your logo in, but this template is the one that comes pre-built in it. But you could replace this whole thing if you already have a graphic for the cover, like Justin already provides you the, the Photoshop files for the uh, ebook covers, right? So maybe you already have a cover ready to go. You can just import it and upload it into here as the first page. Does it pull the graphics from the blog post? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if it does. I think it does. I think it would pull them like if I had a photo in this first in this blog here, it would put it right there. Um, you do get the option to insert images too. Like you can upload your own images into a, into a, your own library here, just like you would in WordPress, for example. Um, so yeah, really great. Lots of flexibility. And if you're not a designer, then it's going to help speed up the process for you to make a really good looking uh, lead magnet. Um, yeah, so those are the three major tools. Um, so Crello, InVideo, and Beacon, and they all have deals on AppSumo right now for, I think, $50 for each of them. So a lifetime deal. Very cool. Awesome. Well, we've, uh, we've definitely <laughs> stretched the limits of the, the uh, Zoom meeting here. I think I booked an hour. We're at 90 minutes, so we're good. <laughs> over value, over deliver, right, Justin? Yeah. So what I think we're going to We've had some great questions. Thank you everybody who attended live and asking some uh, really good questions. Uh, we're definitely going to do more of these based on the feedback. It looks like people are enjoying it. Um, people are saying, this has been so awesome. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Sabrina, Eric. Lots of people that have been here. Um, and for those of you watching the recording, again, by all means, send in questions to the help desk and we will either cover them directly or on the next Q&A. Um, Chad, thank you for joining us today. That was an awesome little demo you did at the end. I think people are pretty excited about some of those tools. I think they're going to be trying them out by the sounds of it. Yeah, these are, so, uh, you know, yeah. there's so many tools out there to use and just PLR gives you that ability to have this content ready to go. It's such an awesome, an awesome license to be able to use it. It's so flexible. Yeah. Yeah. So great. Well, thanks again. And we'll see you on the next session.